Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. In the last video, I showed you how I cook a meatloaf on the grill with excellent results. And today, I'm going to show you what I like to do with the leftovers. I'm going to cut a half inch out of this cold heel and start preparations to make a grilled mushroom and Swiss. Here I've got some sliced button mushrooms and some grated Swiss cheese. I've also got a couple slices of artisan bread, which I've discovered makes the best grilled sandwiches. Just spread with butter and season with an all-purpose garlic seasoning powder. Now I'll just close those two together and set these aside. Now in a hot pan I'm going to add some olive oil followed by some butter and mix these two together. Now add the mushrooms, one clove of garlic, some Italian seasoning and get that all stirred and mixed up well. Now I'm just going to add a pinch of salt and pepper. And once you finally got some good color like this, you can go ahead and remove them from the heat, switch out pans, and go ahead and add that grated Swiss cheese right over the top of those mushrooms. Now in the other hot pan, I'm going to go ahead and add that slice of cold leftover meatloaf. I'm also going to go ahead and start grilling the artisan bread on each side of the meat. Obviously the butter side down, then add mayonnaise to the top of each one of those slices. Any real grilled cheese has mayonnaise and so does this mushroom and Swiss. This might not be the best way to do this, but I need more room to flip my meatloaf. So we're just trying to heat this all the way through and get a good sear on each side, much like a steak or a hamburger. In fact, this is perfect. See, this looks great. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip the bread over so it doesn't get too toasted on just one side. We'll open this up and we'll go ahead and add the meatloaf to it. Oh, it broke. But don't worry about it, it's still going on the same. Ah, uh, yep, it happens guys, but it ain't gonna make it taste bad. Especially when I smother it with this melted mushroom and Swiss cheese. Just put that right over the top of the meatloaf. In fact, I'm gonna add some more. Now we can go ahead and add the top slice. And with a little pressure, I think it's going to hold together just fine. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. What do you think? Too much cheese? Not enough cheese? Sloppy cheese? I promise you it's going to be tasty cheese in a minute. But let's go ahead and cut this bad boy in half. And there you have it, grilled mushroom and Swiss, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.